What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to simply be on the line with a client of mine, um, with a buddy of mine, Boyan, out of New Jersey, um, starting an agency, going after real estate agents and, and, and different type of small business owners. And I'm going to simply walk him through um, setting up his landing page and his thank you page. He'll be running Facebook ads to capture um, appointments, right? He's running ads to get appointments. So what we have to do, if you're in that type of business, any type of service-based business where you're shooting for appointments, this is a video that you want to definitely want, want to pay attention to because the most important thing that we're going to be doing today is setting up our landing page and our thank you page, which is the thank you for scheduling. So as someone sees your ad, they click, they go straight to a landing page where they're able to schedule an appointment. Once that lead schedules an appointment, they're then taken to a thank you for scheduling page aka a thank you page. So there's only two pages that we're working with, landing page, thank you page. Both pages need to be set up as a custom audience. Both pages need to have a Facebook pixel on it. And the thank you page needs to be set up as a custom conversion. So that's what we're going to be focused on today is installing the pixel, um, which I'm pretty sure it's already installed, but we'll, we'll, we'll go through that and, and just double check. But for sure, custom audience of those who land on the landing page but don't opt in also a custom audience of those who land on the actual thank you page and those are who obviously opted in so we'll be focusing on on the pixel custom audiences and the custom conversion okay and per the new apple ios update we're going to also be um integrating our domain and we're going to be um updating the settings for aggregated event measurement. Okay, so this is going to be a jam-packed video, you guys. So again, I'm going to be walking my client, my buddy Boyan. Uh, I'm going to be walking him through it. He'll be sharing his screen, and hopefully hopefully you guys get some value from this video. And if you guys are new, man, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency and a digital publishing company. So if you're into online marketing, social media marketing, Facebook advertising, you're definitely in the right place. Um, I try my best to do tutorials and trainings and really day in the life of what I'm doing with clients and what I'm doing for myself. So subscribe if you're new, smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. All right, guys, so let me bring them on. Give me one second. Perfect. So we'll come into the ads manager we'll click on the three lines go to business settings and this is step one is is integrating your domain okay so now that we're in the business settings to the very left we're going to click on brand safety and then we're going to click on domains so we'll click on domains and then over here um that's the actual domain up there right yeah i added i, I just added it. I didn't do anything else. okay perfect so now what you're going to want to do is hit that drop down click on that drop down at the top add a meta tag yeah click on that what we're looking for is a third one down update the dns that's what we want okay so here we're going to follow step two um and we're going to copy that yeah all you do is hover over it and copy it that's it so and then now step three it says use hold on use a dns text um lookup tool to confirm the re the record has been updated okay cool so that's fine okay so now let's take it to um let's take it to and then some it says some domains registers require the at symbol in the host field okay cool so let's go to godaddy and we're going to just go into the um dns so scroll down and we're going to click on manage dns right there manage dns and then right here what we want to do is we want to add a text file. So go ahead and click on the word add, up, add, and then hit the drop down. and we're looking for txt. Okay, there you go. And then um, the host is gonna be the at sign. Is that always? Yep, and then the okay. txt value, go ahead and paste in that link. Okay, save. Okay, good. So now Facebook, this is obviously a new update, right? Never before mm -hmm. did you have to integrate your domain. So this is all, you know, um, because of the whole uh, Apple iOS update. So this is what you guys need to be doing. Um, always integrate the domain. So refresh this page, and then we're gonna go back to Facebook and we're gonna click on verify. And sometimes it verifies right away. Sometimes you it takes a few minutes and you have to click on it a few times, but let's try Go and click on verify domain. Uh -huh. Perfect. 
Okay, good. So we're good. So click on connected assets. Um, let's see if you have to connect anything, which I don't think you do, but go to connected assets. Go ahead and click on add assets, see if there's anything to add. Um, okay, so we're fine. Okay, perfect. So that right there is integrating your domain. Um, and if you have Namecheap or getting the domain through Google, most of them are the same. You just go into the DNS settings and that's the, the, the link that you want to copy in. Okay, so, so now that we have our domain, um, and that other one, do you need that one still? Awesome tips. You want to? Yes, 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 yes. That's for our ClickBank. For yeah, the, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna keep it. For now. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now here's what we want to do. We want to set up our custom audiences and our custom conversion. So let's do uh, the custom audiences first. So go ahead and click on your three lines at the top, and let's go down to audiences. Click on the three lines. Go to audiences, and we're gonna set up two different audiences. And one audience will be will be the landing page, you know, those who land there, mm -hmm. um, but never opt in. That's one audience. That's an audience that you always want to retarget. So go ahead and click on website. These are all the different audiences that you can create that you can build around. We're going to focus on a website. And right here, we're going to simply go, go ahead and click on that all website visitors. We're going to always go down to specific. We're going to go down to specific, always specific. So grab the link, go to your landing page. And then um, all we're going to do is we're going to copy everything except for the www. So just the URL from T all the way over. And make sure you don't have a dot. Make sure, you know, it, it, it's, it's exactly all it is. So there it is there. You're going to paste it in. You don't need the HTTPS or anything like that. And you always want to hit the drop down. So when you see the blue, click on that. Always go with the drop down. And then so now here's what we're going to do. The retention is is 30 days, right? Facebook is is going to be putting is going to be building this audience of those who 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 landed on that page within the past 30 days. Now, if you this is this is the one page that you're going to be really really trying to trying to drive traffic to. So you'll be driving traffic to this for a long time, right? The next four months, five months, seven months, for example. And so, what I do what I do is I'll simply no, I'll leave it at 30. I, I don't I I wouldn't change it because here's the deal. Those who landed on this page 90 days ago and they only landed on it once would be in that audience. And I don't want to retarget that person. That person's not even going to remember me anymore. Right. So I want it somewhat, I want this audience to be somewhat fresh, somewhat within the past 30 days. If you landed on my page within the, within the last 30 days, okay, cool. You're going to keep seeing my ads. Does that kind of make sense? So, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, before we used to take that up higher, but it doesn't make any sense to put 180. It, it just doesn't. Those people don't even, people that landed on your page 175 days ago don't even freaking remember you no more, right? So yep. why in the hell am I retargeting them? You know, so so 30 is fine. We'll leave it at 30. Now, this is very specific. This audience is very specific. People who land on this page only. So here's what we have to do. And this, this applies for the landing page, right? Your squeeze page, your opt-in page, whatever the hell you want to call it. That's the link to the landing page, 30 days specific. And what we want to do now is exclude. We want to exclude. So click on exclude people. Don't go ahead of me, bro. Hit exclude people. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to simply go scroll down. You're going to match the top. So we're going to take away all website visitors. We're going to go to specific. So we're, all we're doing is matching the top and 30. We can leave 30. That's the top 30, 30. So that link right there is the link to the thank you page. So now go to your thank you page and get that link. So again, very specific. These are people who landed on the landing page, but never landed on this page. Don't get the dot. Yeah. So very specific. They landed on the landing page, but never landed there, right? Meaning they never opted in. So Paste that in there. Click on the drop down. Now this name would be something like, and and you don't want to just put landing page. Like you have to be specific. This is your real estate landing page, right? So when you name yeah. these different audiences, be specific. Scroll down, scroll down. So now give it an audience name. It's it's not just landing page. It's freaking, you know, it's 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 real estate freaking schedule an appointment freaking landing page or whatever the hell, right? Like be specific with these names. So landing page real estate yeah landing page real estate only so put the only in parentheses 
So, so meaning they only landed here. They never opted in. They never landed on the thank you page, right? So landing page yeah. real estate in parentheses, go ahead and put the word only and then create audience. Perfect. And then what you want to do also is you want to bookmark this page. You want to have a folder, first of all, at the top. Where's your, didn't, didn't we start a business manager folder a long time ago? Uh, we did affiliate ads uh, man, folder here. Okay. So maybe, maybe create it. Well, we yeah, can do that create, later on, but, yeah. but what you're going to want to start doing is, is bookmarking your shit. Like you want to be able to click on it and boom, come here yes. right away. Yep. So, so that's one audience. Now we need to set up another audience. The second audience will be those who actually land on the thank you page, right? Those who yes. actually land on the thank you page are leads. So go ahead and custom audience, go ahead and click on that one. So now we're going to do the same thing. All website visitors specific. Now here's the deal with the thank you page. Here's the deal with, with these, these visitors. This is a different group of people now. Now I don't want 30. Now I want max, which is 180. So the 30, we're going to turn that to 180 because these are people who are leads. Yes, so it yes. don't matter. 30 days. No, I need max. People that landed here within the last eight, 180 days, 180 is the max. So people who have landed here within the past 180 are going to go into this audience. And that's very, very important because this is an audience that you're going to be excluding from seeing future ads, right? So, yep. so strategy call confirmed. We're going to scroll down and go ahead and name it um, um, very specific real estate appointments or, or real estate freaking, um, yeah, appointments, I mean, or leads or whatever, how the, however the hell you want to word it. Real estate, thank you page or whatever. Thank you appointment page, whatever. Yeah, and you can always change the name. Um, but as you as you start to like... Yeah, just in the future, just always, yeah, just always be super specific with these names. Um, but you can always change it. For, you can always edit the name as well. So real estate, thank you, page leads. Perfect, create audience. Okay, perfect. So now those two pages are set up. Go ahead and click on done. Okay, perfect. So those are your are your two most important audiences. Landing page visitors only, and then, and then your actual leads. Um, Thank you, page leads. Okay, perfect. So now next, what we want to do is set up a custom conversion. So the custom conversion is based on the thank you page. So we're going to click on the three lines, go to events manager. And then we're going to hover over the blue triangle uh, to the left. And, and your pixels on the pages, right? Yes. Okay, for sure, for sure, right? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Okay, so, so click on custom conversions. Can I get out of it? diagnostic? What's that? Yeah, click on that and just hit the three lines or the three dots to the right and click ignore. And here we, since we're here, let's let's double check the settings. Click on settings, right here in the middle settings. Let's make sure that uh, the the correct links are 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 gathering data. Um, so just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Keep going all the way to traffic permissions. Right here. So, okay, so. Um, domains on your block list. So we want to X that one out. We want that one. That's your domain. So we need, we need that one. So add it to X block up. list. Yeah. We need to unblock that. So hit the X exit. Yeah. So confirm. Okay. Perfect. So now close and go ahead and, um, create allow list. Click on create allow list. Okay. So, um, allowed are, is, Okay, so so let's um, no, I guess yeah, those are your two domains. So we're gonna allow, yeah. yeah. Actually, no, no, no. Both of them. Add to allow list. Add to allow list. So do both of them. Add to allow list. Click the blue link. Add to allow list. Wait, 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 wait. To the right, bro. Add to oh. allow list. Confirm. And do the same thing with the other one. Add to allow list. Okay, perfect. So close. Okay, good. So now. Now those two um, added to allow list. Okay, cool. So we're good. Okay, so now um, click on the, or hover over the blue, custom conversions. Okay, perfect. So as we go and set up the custom conversion, we're going to also have to update the aggregated event yes. measurement. What so do we do first? That's what we're going to do. So create custom conversion. And all we're going to do is simply um, click on, 
the blue select your own category. And this one's going to be, um, you're going to hit the recommended, hit the drop down and go down to lead. Actually, you know what? This could be, this could be lead or it could be scheduled appointment or scheduled. I think there is, it says, um, keep going, keep going. So there's lead and then there's schedule. So you can do either one lead or schedule. I would, I would probably go schedule. I'd go schedule because it's an actual appointment. It's schedule. So, and then you're going to paste in the thank you page, a link right there. Everything except for the HTTPS and the www. So just grab right that here. again if you need to. Okay, so there it is there. Perfect. So now at the very, very top, name your conversion. This is, and what I what I do normally in this case is I name it the same as I did the custom audience, but that's a long ass name that you did the custom audience. You want to maybe edit that name later on. Shorter, you know, is-, is What did better. I do on a custom audience? Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, you put something, you. you put some long ass, you put like real estate- that's fine. Thank you, page, landing page. You put some shit. Uh, thank you. Thank you, page leads. Like, yeah, you did that. Yeah. So fix that you. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's the same shit. So I would name it the same, you know, just to keep everything similar. You know, that's, that's why I do it just to, just to keep everything consistent. So real estate, thank you, page leads. Okay. Perfect. And we're optimizing this, a custom conversion for the standard event of scheduled. So as we go in and run our ads, that's what we'll see in the ad set level. The second step is um, the custom conversion for schedule. So go ahead and create. And then right here, you'll see this part, go to web configuration. No, 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 bro. Go to web configuration. Bro, you're trigger happy over there. You'd be clicking mm -hmm. too fast. So right here, now what we want to do is click on the domain there, uh, the, the triangle, the yellow. Yep, click on that. So over here, we're gonna manage events and then we're gonna edit. And then over here, we're gonna click on the green button, add event, and then hit the drop down. So, um, no, 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 bro, hit the drop down to the left. So go down a custom conversion and then to the right, you should see your um, real estate right. thing. Beautiful. Okay, so now hit the blue one, submit. And then yes, I confirm these changes. And then apply. And that's it. So now click on OK. And then now what we can do is we can um, we can hover over the triangle to the left and go back to uh, custom conversions. This is very, very important. This is very, very important. So what we just did is we set up the custom conversion and then it sent us to the web configuration part where we did the two drop downs, custom conversion, chose the custom conversion, and then we came back here. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to our thank you page. So, open up the tab at the top, go to your thank you page, refresh this page, and then look at your Facebook pixel helper. So, up there, wait till it lights up. It normally sometimes it takes a few seconds. But in here we should see um, this yeah, is it's, not big so it'll take it take normally it takes a few seconds. Oh okay, so actually, you know what? Um, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. So there Perfect. is your custom conversion. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Okay. So to do that, you know, you just download the Facebook Pixel Helper, right? That's what you did. The yep. Facebook Pixel Helper. That's a little plug-in up there at the top. Facebook Pixel Helper. You guys can Google that. So now here's what we do. We refresh this page. So we just went to our thank you page. We refresh that page so Facebook Pixel can read the conversion. Now we looked at our Pixel Helper. The conversion is there. Now we go to Facebook right here and we refresh this page and that inactive goes to active. Okay. Now you're in awesome. business. So no, now business. as you go and run ads, click the three lines to the left and go to your ads manager. As you um, now hit the ads manager, now as you go and set up a whole new ad, click on the green uh, button. Always make sure you're in the right account. We've right. been. Oh, okay, this one, 306. Is that, is that the yeah. account? Is yes. that the account? Are you sure? Yes, yes. Okay, so now as we go to the ads manager, everything is set up. Now, as you go and set up your whole new, your whole new next ad, you click on the green one, 
Yep, you always make sure you're in that 306. And then you click on the green one and just go through as we're gonna as we're gonna run any ad, you know, go conver go conversions, go conversions, and then continue. And then go ahead. And, and and with you, I don't think I don't think you're gonna need to be in special ad category, uh, but just just check that in the future, like because you are now in the real estate space, not a real estate agent, but you're going after real estate agents. Uh, yeah. So you may have to go housing, maybe, maybe, but but you'll know after Nothing. your first ad. Don't check it now. You'll know after your first ad if it gets rejected, it'll, it'll be because you need to go housing. But I don't think you need. I don't think you need to. But okay. if if but if you're running an ad for a real estate agent, then yeah, or okay. employment, or credit, or a freaking insurance agent, or a loan officer, then yeah. If you're doing an ad for them, you got to do housing. So okay. as I run ads for real estate agents on my end, I always go housing. Okay, because it's, it's an ad going from it's an ad coming from their business page. It's an ad for them. So they housing, but but this is you, bro. So you're not housing. I'm just saying, just check in the future as you run an ad. If it gets rejected, then then it, it, it's saying that you have to go housing as well. But I don't think you do. So hit next, hit next, and then so now as we come to the ad set level, you'll see right here pixel. There's your pixel, the six four five, and then you hit the drop down. And then you'll click right there. You'll scroll down and you're looking for your custom conversion, which is real estate thank you page leads. That's it. That's it. And you don't have to worry about that part. This event hasn't been prior. Don't worry about that. Just move on. Continue the ad and that's it, bro. So um, Pixel is already installed. That's your custom audience. That's, that's your custom conversion. That's updating it for the new Apple iOS 14 through the web configure the 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 aggregated event measurement, the web configuration, and mm -hmm. you're good. One more quick question. Same thing. Uh, if I want to that was conversion ad. If I want to use traffic ad, I will just go over there and uh, use the link of landing page. Correct. Yes, as you get to the third step, yeah, 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 right. that's where you just put in for the learn more button, the link to your landing page. That's it. No custom conversion needed. It's just traffic to the landing page. Okay, right here. So that's where your website URL would go for the for the landing page. Okay, awesome, awesome. I'll play over the weekend on the, on the Kartra pages and man, I'm, I'm going to start sending some. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right on, bro. That's that.